Hi there, my name is Dr. Nelly Balfour and I'm a pediatrician currently working at the Nelson Mandela Children's Hospital in Johannesburg, South Africa. So there's an array of different sicknesses, disorders and afflictions under the mental health umbrella, basically. And because we all have a different temperament and different ways of coping, things affect us differently. So in kids, they may have a genetic predisposition, such as a family history of mental illness. It can be something as having a bad day, causing stress and anxiety, all the way to having multiple different traumatic experiences in one's lifetime that affects them and may cause something like a bipolar mood disorder or even major depressive disorder. So different things affect different people differently. Therefore, um, there's a whole lot of different causes for mental health issues. I think also, as doctors, we underestimate the prevalence of mental health disorders and mental health problems seen in our patients who are hospitalized for prolonged periods of time. Um, even conditions such as diabetes, for example, how they may affect children mentally, because, for example, a child may be at a birthday party or a social gathering and might not be able to interact or eat certain things that other children might be able to. Um, so I think in terms of what causes mental health issues in kids, um, a whole variety of things, um, and ranging from basically abuse, traumatic experiences, family history, genetic predisposition, things like that. So ADHD stands for Attention Deficit and Hyperactivity Disorder, and how it can be identified is from basically what it stands for. Children who are unable to pay attention and you're unable to keep their attention and are easily distractible. Kids who are quite hyperactive have increased amounts of energy and are unable to sit still. Um, on top of that, impulsivity. Um, so children who go off of impulse, you know, leading to situations that can put them or others in danger. So they act without thinking. Um, it usually manifests before the age of 12 years. Um, and generally in these children, it affects their academic and social functioning. So if your child or a child has expressed to you that they might have issues with their mental health or they're struggling with their mental health, a way to make them feel safe is to listen. So I think by listening, you make a child feel validated, you make them feel comfortable and you make them feel safe and like they can trust you. I think that's the first step in making them open up a little bit more, after which I think seeking professional help through a child psychiatrist or child psychologist is the way to go. Some parents feel a bit out of their depth in dealing with these mental health illnesses or mental health issues in their children, either because they aren't professionals themselves or it triggers them. So seeking professional help after you make a child feel listened to and understood I think is a way that you can make them feel comfortable and safe and they can open up a little bit more.